seems. Harder than it seems that it should be. And we have to understand why that is. And through all the spiritual traditions, three different levels of consciousness have been maintained as being the, the jurisdiction, the, the three phases, you could say, of consciousness, or dimensions of consciousness. to the ego, we are fragmented. The ego is made up of all of these other semiotic fragments. By that I mean fragments made up of words and images that come, congeal into complexes, narratives, little world views of scenarios that must unfold. But you never know which little fragment, little ego, like a neutron, the equivalent of a subatomic particle. You know, they've discovered now. They too are in swarms. You don't know where a neutron is. It could be anywhere within a certain cloud of possibility. And all that it is really is a certain wave of probability. There's a certain percentage of probability it could be here, or that it could be here, or here at any given moment. We don't know. It's uncertain. And I would say that this principle of uncertainty is the primary principle that is operating in our moment of history. Unlike in the past when people were resonating more at the level of the Atma, there was a very different kind of culture, a di very different kind of field of experience created when we were in Atma consciousness. And then when we were in soul consciousness, it was a different kind of world. And now we are almost entirely all of us in ego consciousness because the collective unconscious of the noosphere is in that state and becoming more and more fragmented. And we all witness this. And the result of this fragmentation and uncertainty, which amounts to an uncertainty of knowing who I will be in any given moment. You don't know if in the next interaction with someone you will end up being sweet or being angry. You can't judge it in advance because you yourself don't know which fragment's going to come into play. 